This video demonstrates a few neuromuscular retraining drills designed to improve your propulsion while running by stabilizing the trunk to allow the hips to exert greater torque during push-off. The first part of this progression involves establishing a neutral low back and pelvic position. Athletes commonly fall into a position of overextension, so it's important to first correct this dysfunctional position. This can be accomplished by drawing air in through the nose to gently pressurize the lower abdominal region while gently tilting the pelvis back while exhaling through the mouth. Once neutral lumbopelvic mechanics are established, the athlete is ready to begin single leg balance training. Make sure to maintain the thigh of the non-balancing leg parallel to the balancing leg while avoiding overarching the low back, which is a common tendency during this exercise. Additionally, maintain an upright posture while gently tucking the chin to stack the neck. After establishing stability and single leg balance, you are now ready to superimpose leg movements to the drill to further challenge your spinal stability or core strength. Make sure to maintain a neutral thigh position on the non-balancing leg as a common movement dysfunction or compensatory pattern is for the hip to flex. Once you have mastered single leg balance with repetitive knee flexion, you can progress by incorporating reciprocal arm swings to further challenge your stability. Strive to maintain the elbows at roughly 90 degrees of bend or flexion while flexing and extending the shoulders. The final step of this progression involves performing single leg balance on a decline slant board or calf stretch board. This will force you into a position of overextending the low back, thereby forcing the athlete to counter the movement. Upon mastering this drill, you can progress the exercise by incorporating extremity movements, which in this case involve reciprocal arm swing. 